Okay, guys, so I just got done doing this, but real quickly, I'm going to go through and make a video so that you guys can see how to access your Savvis account, okay? So I already did this with the access, but I want you to see what this actually looks like once I put assignments in it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and that way you guys can see. Okay, you know, this always takes me a second. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. We're in Clever right now, okay? And so we're going to punch this right here, okay? So you're going to punch this right here, Savis, the Savis button in Clever, so that you can go through. And I apologize, things are kind of slow right now, but we're going to go into Savis, okay? Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because you're going to go into Canvas to go through and figure out what your assignments are, but it's just going to tell you what they are, and then you're going to see my lecture, okay? And then you need to go into Savvis, though, to go through and actually get your assignments. So this page is going to look a little bit different here. Right here, I have all my classes that I'm teaching. For you, only your class will show up, but you don't want to press any of these right here. What you want to do is you want to come over here and hit Savvis Realize. Okay. Now, what Savvis Realize is going to do is it's going to take you to this page that's coming up here in a sec. Okay. Now, if you've never logged into this before, it's going to actually take you in a landing page. It's going to ask you three simple questions to set up your account. It's going to ask you what language do you want it in so you can actually do it Spanish or English. It's going to ask you if you want to pin something to it, and it's going to ask you what background you want to do. And then if you scroll down even further, it can say, let's go, and then you'll end up on this page. Now, at this page, what you want to do is you want to actually hit classes. Okay. So for yours, it's just going to come up, and I'm going to use I'm going to use this one as an example. This, this is what you will actually see. You won't see all the classes that I have because I have multiple classes in math. You're going to see your assignments. Okay. So right now, I've got the beginning of the year assessment that I've assigned to you. That's one out of what is it? I've got zero out of one completed, right? And then right here, I've got um, lesson 1.1. Now, this is going to look a little bit different, but what I mainly wanted to show you is that you're going to go through, and when you click in, you're going to see all of these different assignments. You're not going to show this. This is showing me the different students in here. It's just going to show you that you have this assignment. Now, if you've completed this assignment, then over here, it's going to go through and give you your score on it. And once that score is there, um, I'm going to go in, I'm going to take certain times, like maybe a couple times a week, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to take those scores manually out of there, put them into PowerSchool, and then I will delete it out of your account. So if you see that it's deleted out of your account, that means that I took it out, okay? And then you're going to have different lessons. Now, I'm going to go through because I'm going to group this a little bit different than what you guys are going to see in here. Um, I only did this, I only grouped all the lesson one stuff from unit one together so that you guys would have an easier time seeing it, but I'm going to explain how I'm going to do it later on, okay? So here's what we're looking at. You're going to have examples. Now, these are a little out of order, so make sure that you go through and do them in order, but right here you have, right down here you have example one. This will allow you to click into this, watch the example. It has animations and everything, and it'll explain to you some of the lesson. Then you have example two. This will do the same thing, except you'll try it. You'll be clicking on specific things to answer questions. And then the same with example three. So you can go through each one of these as much as you want. Now, instead of me grouping together all of lesson one together, what I'll be doing is I'll be putting all the examples from the entire unit in one folder. And that way you can access all the examples as many times as you want. The other thing I'm gonna have in a separate folder are virtual nerds. Now, if you're having a hard time with the, the um, process, you've watched my um, lecture, you've done the examples, you still don't get it, you can go to virtual nerd. Virtual nerd are like, additional YouTube videos that you can watch and it will explain the concept in a little bit more depth. 
So you'll want to go through and watch those. Look how, though, each one of these has one dash one with it. That means it's from unit one and it's lesson one. Because when I group these together in folders, like let's say the virtual nerd I group in the folders, if you have 10 lessons in the unit, there's going to be 20 of those virtual nerds in that folder. And so you're going to have to pay attention, depending on what lesson you're working on, to watch the correct virtual nerd. Now here's the two that your assignments, uh, that your grades are going to depend on. First of all, you have the math Excel. If you have 10 lessons, I'm going to group all of these Excels together in one folder. And actually, what's cool about the Excels is you can go through and take them as many times as you want until you get 100%. So I will group them all in one folder. And then what's really cool also is at the end of the folder, it will tell you what your grade is every time you finish one of the Excels. So you'll get to know, like, if you have 10 lessons, and let's say you took the first Excel, you got 100% on it, on your folder, it's going to say that you currently have a 10% because you got a 10, 100% on the one, so you have a 10% in that folder. So you can go through those Excels and take them as many times as you want until you get 100%, and that means on your assignments, you'll get 100%. Then you have the quiz. Now, for every lesson, you're going to have a quiz. Now, these quizzes are the exception. I am not going to go through and put those in a folder. What I'm going to instead, instead do is I'm going to assign them to you twice. So you're going to get two opportunities to take each quiz. Now, if you get 100% on the first time, don't worry about it. Leave it in there. You don't have to take it the second time unless you want to. I don't know why you would, but you don't have to. And then I will give you 100% on it. Um, so what you do is you take those quizzes and you have to have them done by the due date. OK, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to check those quizzes. I'm going to write those down, put them in PowerSchool, and then I'm going to delete them out of your um, out of your account. So you won't have them available to you after you finish them. However, when you do the Excel or you do the quiz, it will grade it automatically. And instantly when you get done, you will have a grade on it and know what you scored. OK, you will also have a mid topic assessment which will be midway through. If you have 10 lessons, it'll be after lesson five and you will have a unit test, which will be at the end. OK, so each one of these will be put in individually. You're going to have, though, for each unit, you're going to have a folder that has the examples in it. Then you're going to have so it'll say something like unit one examples and it'll have all the examples in it. And you'll click it open and see all those. You'll have the Unit one virtual nerd, and you'll click that open and see all the unit ones for all the different lessons. Sorry, the virtual nerds for all the different lessons. Then you will have another folder that says Excel, okay, unit one Excel. And you open it up, and all your Excels will be in there. Your quizzes, though, and your mid topic and your unit test will be individually posted into your account. So the big thing is overall picture, look at Canvas to see what's going to be expected when assignments you have for the next week and remember each module will be a week but then when you know what those examples or the, assi the assignments are make sure then you go to Savas so you can find the assignments and actually complete them okay guys now the biggest way this is going to work you guys need to communicate with me so if you're having problems with this make sure you send me a message through the end book inbox through canvas OK, and I'll help you out any way I can. All right, guys, I know there's only so many time, so many hours in the day, and I will try to use as many of them to help you. But make sure that you're going through and communicating with me. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing here. And then I'll stop the recording. Hopefully this wasn't too long and boring. Hope you guys are doing well. You Talk to you soon.